you finally put your little one to sleep. It's been a long day, so you turn in early. But in the middle of the night, you hear coughing on the monitor, an almost barky cough, like there's a seal in the room, and the breathing sounds off. There's a high-pitched sound. There's a chance this might be croup. Croup symptoms can begin quite suddenly, usually late in the evening when your child is lying flat. It's hard to miss because croup often begins like a cold, but the hoarse voice, barky cough, and high-pitched breathing are telltale signs. The symptoms usually improve during the day, but come back again at night. Most children are better within two days, but a small number of children have symptoms that continue for up to one week. In rare cases, croup can lead to serious lung infections or can cause your child to stop breathing. So, what should you do? First, stay calm. Plenty of clear fluids will avoid dehydration. If you do want to give your child some sort of medicine for fever, use an acetaminophen, Tylenol or Tempra, or Ibuprofen, Advil or Motrin. Just be sure to follow the label instructions. If it's autumn or winter, step out into the cold air or sit by an open freezer door. Cool air often eases coughing and improves breathing. If after 15 minutes, your child is still working hard to breathe and coughing does not improve or starts drooling or has trouble swallowing, then bundle your child and take a drive to the hospital. At the hospital, your child will be assessed. Once it's determined that your child has croup, they may be given a steroid to decrease the swelling. Then your child will be reassessed to decide when they can go home or if they need more medication. In extreme cases, the lips or fingertips will turn blue and your child may be very tired, pass out, or stop breathing. Call 911 immediately. Croup can be difficult to prevent, but you can take some simple steps. Good hygiene, such as regularly washing hands and cleaning surfaces, is the main defense against croup. Make sure your child's vaccinations are up to date as they can reduce a child's risk for developing croup. We can't tell you not to worry because that's the natural response of all parents. But with a little knowledge, you can stay calm and help your child make it through with no problems. This video was created by Trek, Arch and Echo, and funded by Canadian Institutes of Health Research.